Walk us through that process. Uh, how did you transition from like, you know, doing everything, wearing all the hats to really building a true real estate investing business that was working for you instead of you working for it. Sure. And I'll, I'll tell you what I did first really quick so that people don't do what I did first because it wasn't the right way to go about it. So the first hires, you know, how it went down was, Hey, yeah, sure. That'd be great. Yeah. Come on in and help us out. You know, you've been on a couple points appointments with me to, to talk to sellers and, uh, and they would come in and, and I would just say, well, shadow me for a week. That's how you're going to learn what you're supposed to do. Yeah. That was not the way to set somebody up for success. And so everything that I had learned over the years and doing the business eight or nine years, you know, wearing all the hats, that was all in my head. And I was expecting them by just shadowing me for a week to pick up on all of it. Right. So, it, you know, when it was time for me to not be there for them to go on the appointment, I was really, they, they were really not set up to succeed, you know, to find, and I was thinking, well, they'll find their own way. Like I did. Right. Not, not a good way to do it. So I don't recommend that. What I recommend is setting things up. There's a good, a really good book called uh, work the system that I forgot the author's name, but he talks about setting up your procedures, right? And I wish I had done this even before I planned on bringing people in because there were so many times where I came up against a situation that I had solved before, but I don't, I didn't remember how I solved it. And so I had to go back and spend all this time trying to figure out the right solution. Whereas if had I just documented what to do in this situation, I would have known. And the beautiful thing about when you do that is you realize a lot of times, even with the things that you do on a weekly or daily basis, it's pretty inefficient. And when you document it out, you're like, whoa, what am I? Wow. I'm, and then you realize how much you're doing as well, which will make you want to hire somebody to take a lot of that off your plate. So getting all of that documented, I use a, a, a tool called Tetra, T-E-T-T-R-A. It's free. I think you get a free account and you can, docu you can document your procedures there. And then whenever you hire a team, they have a place to easily find all of those procedures. And then they have a way to communicate and update those so that they're living documents, they're, they're living processes. And so when you set those things up like that in a way to when you bring somebody on, number one, they're going to have a lot more trust in your company you know, because you, you don't want to be you know starting a job where you're feeling like everything is just, you know, shooting from the hip and nothing is structured at all. And, you know, the, the job security might be in question. And so having all of that to bring somebody in to follow what you've uh, proven to work, and then they can just pick it up. And what that does is that truly does free you from having to interact as much because they have something to go off of and they won't be calling you every you know hour or, or 30 minutes even asking you questions about things, making you question whether even hiring somebody was the right thing to do. Because I found that I would get into situations where I would say, what am I doing? I just, I can finish this faster than it would take to explain it to them. And you do not want to fall into that trap. And so documenting those processes is, is absolutely critical. The next thing, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but the next thing is really having that system in place where everything in the business is in a, the data is there in a place that everybody on the team has access to. And even if you're a small team, even when it was my ex-wife and I, having that, that place where everything about the lead and the deal is right there in one place keeps everything so much more organized and, and less communication needing to happen. I don't have to bug, I didn't have to bug her to find out some situation about this deal because it's all right there in the system. Right. As far as, you know, and the things that you can do these days with what we've done with Forefront and, and several other systems out there, all the communication can be tracked uh, within the system. So not only do you have the lead information, the deal information for one of these properties, you also can have all of your communication that was ever had with them within that same record. Right. So that you can see no matter who took the call, who sent the text, who received the text, it's all right there in a timeline. And uh, the beautiful thing about that is when you do that, you start to get into things that really help you also dial in your marketing because you can track, you get a different phone number per marketing channel, right? Or even campaign. 
so that automatically everything's attributed properly and you know it's really producing not just the leads, but the ones that become deals and then the profit you actually get from those deals per campaign. Because if you're not tying all that stuff together and figuring that out, mm -hmm.